smells like it, you just smell it. <laughs> it's just like, what does that smell like? <laughs> that smells like Motown. I can't either! <laughs> Back. It's a vibe with substance. All that and more on Professional Musicians React. Musicians React. Welcome back to Professional Musicians React. We got an awesome day today. We are gonna listen to Silk Sonic. Woo! We're joined by Charles Jones. Charles has perfect pitch and is an amazing keyboard player and an amazing singer, and we're very we're very lucky to have Charles joining us today. We got Ryan Lerman, has played with everybody from John Legend to Ben Folds to Michael Buble. You might notice that this studio that we're in is where Silk Sonic shot the music video for Leave the Door Open. I'm gonna leave the door. And that was right here. We're in Valentine Studios. To everybody who uh, recommended that we listen to Skate, thank you. We heard your suggestion. We're gonna do it. I have not heard this song. The album is coming out in January. It's called An Evening with Silk Sonic. All right, before we jump in, we're gonna jump in a second. But before we do, what music should folks at home listen to right now that you've been loving recently? For me, Brittany Howard. Mm. I Her like, solo record? Her solo record. Yeah. I am in love. There's a golden sky. If you like Silk Sonic, you might also like Parcels. Oof. It's this very funky, almost dry sounding pop funk. Well, Domi and JD are, are pretty are pretty burning. Okay, let's get into it. Skate by Silk Sonic. Bruno Anderson, I love y'all. Bruno, I love you. There's so much substance in it. You yes. know what I mean? Mm. It's it's a vibe with substance. Mm. The string writing, all of the hits, mm. the orchestration. Everything you want is there. You're not like missing anything. They've let the music talk. Mm -hmm. You said there's <laughs> nothing missing, which I agree with. Mm -hmm. There's nothing missing. Mm. And there's no horns in this funk song. Right. But how genius to be like, I mean, everybody would would get this song, get this arrangement, and be like, "Okay, what what are the horns doing?" You well, wouldn't even I, start with the like horns are the vocals. I feel like this is oh, the vocals, skate. The, yeah, the vocals took the place of the horns. So like you, skate. Yeah, this is very Motown though to yeah. not have horns. It's like Earth, Wind, and Fire to have horns and strings, but to have just like rhythm section plus strings, See, I feel like is, make, with the sitar is is a very like Marvin and Tammy kind of vibe. And it's funny you bring up Earth, Wind and Fire because now that I think about it, like what made Earth, Wind and Fire big was that they became pop. Like instead of just being mm. like soul R and B, and so it's kind of like wondering if the horns makes the difference between being a pop act versus being Motown. <laughs> Obviously, like the the Motown influence on this is is oh, undeniable. It's, I mean, the Glock, the whole, the everything. It smells like it. You just smell it. <laughs> it's just like, what does that smell like? <laughs> that smells like Motown. Girl, it's cool. I love how tight the verse gets after that huge intro. It just focuses. Speaking of intro, 
I think it's a reference to an old Bruno to a Bruno Mars Mark Ronson song with a uh, mystical. Um, bum bum bum, taka dun the bum bum bum. <laughs> That line, ba 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 ba. It's uh, what's going on, the bridge of what's going on. Yes. Yeah. Yes, it's super Marvin Gaye. Right. There's so many wonderful little references and, mm -hmm. and moments. I also think I'm just throwing it out there. It doesn't feel like a copy to me. No. It doesn't feel... I it's mean, original a, enough. It's original enough, and the mixing is interesting enough and fresh and different enough mm -hmm. that it doesn't feel like... I, I mean, I, I'm, I'm hesitant to say it doesn't feel like a throwback because it's so definitely Motown. Yeah. <laughs> but it, it adds something, in my opinion. Yeah, and it still yeah. And it still, like, ups the ante a little bit. The harmony, though... Which I, I love. So happy. I love when you can walk through changes and there's a song and the bridge goes somewhere else and mm. it's fresh, not because of the timbres, but because of the chords. Mm -hmm. Yes. I love when a bridge does that. Me too. That's my favorite. Yeah. I was looking forward to that. When we were playing and I was like, the bridge is coming. The yeah. bridge is coming. The bridge is coming. <laughs> I said, ah, oh, where are we going to go? Yeah. And then he, I think he like, goes to third. A flat. Yeah. Yeah, like, wait, can we oh. figure out what that harmonic change is? Because that's such a special moment in the song where yeah. you're just like, we're somewhere else for a second. I know yeah. we're going to come back. Mm -hmm. Or we might modulate. Yeah. A lot of bridges these days take out the instruments out and they come down. Picture. Yeah. Mm. And it's like, now's the quiet part before the last chorus yeah. explodes. Mm -hmm. And that's how they add, that's how they like gi give you a break from ear fatigue. Mm -hmm. You know, they're like, let's just take out some of the shit. We'll come down for a this second. Is probably, yeah. But this does it in a different way. It just, it changes the key. And yeah. so you, you, you get the same feeling of, of rest. So a key change is like a scene change. Just imagine like a key change, it's a different color. So for example, you're in this key. If I change keys, you see how that feels different? That's a key change. It's so much more effective to do it with harmony like it be, it, versus taking things out because when you put harmony and make it a scene change, it gives your mind the permission to go somewhere differently. We went to that bridge, I saw poppy fields. Mm -hmm. I just literally saw like the sky open. We were in the poppy fields rolling around. Da -da 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 -da. Back. Yeah. You know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay, let's figure out what this chord okay. change is. Let's go for it. And, and wh what the tonal center is, and then let's come back to, to the chorus. Direct especially. modulation up a minor third. Is that what you think? That's what I remember. This is the chorus? This is the chorus. Yeah. The other thing that's old about this tune, even what you were just playing, it's it's bass, it's fifth bass movement. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Three, six, two, five. Three, six, two, five. Yeah. Yep. That's like classic bass movement. A three, six, two, five is a very common chord progression. The numbers refer to the chords in a specific key. So in the key of F, three, six, two, five would be A minor, D, G minor, C. And then we're back home. So first first chord is a C sharp, C sharp major over E flat. And then the next chord is an A flat major. With the major seven in there. Uh-huh. Yeah. And then I think it, we can listen to it, but I think it goes to this. And then it goes to this. Yes. And then yes. it goes and then it goes out here. Oh, oh which is the modulation back yeah. into. So wait, so what's so interesting about that? It's tension. It's yeah. tension. Let's keep them in tension. So let's, exactly. go, let's, go to, let's, go to that, let's go to that E flat and keep them in tension. And starting sections with tension is, is it's, cool. It's so like cool. Like starting a chorus on, the, so five cool. car, on yeah. the five chord is cool. Starting a bridge, I mean, it's, it's the five chord yeah. of the new key. Yes, that's yeah. doubly cool. It's like we're going to A flat. Instead of starting the bridge with A flat, we're going to start the bridge with, with four on top of yeah. five in the new key. Yeah. Then the second chord of the bridge is going to be the new key, mm -hmm. where we reveal what that is. Yeah. That's that is crafty fucking songwriting. Yeah. That is really good, interesting songwriting. And you know what's so beautiful about that? It satisfies. I think it satisfies the critical ear, and then it satisfies like the ear that has no idea what's going on. Yeah. yeah. So it's like, oh, did you hear that? Like, oh my god, that's amazing. Yeah. That's, and, I, then, and then and then the and then the regular ear goes like, oh, new section, poppy feel. Oh, I'm trying to roll. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Poppy I think I, I think really great music 
tends to work on two levels. Do you know what I mean? Where you can appreciate it like the Beatles. It's right. It's like it's somehow so simple and so complicated at the same time. Or it's it's engaging. Like the more you know about how it's working, the more interesting it is. But it it works just to listen and know nothing about it. Yeah. I think that's a really great point that you can just sit back and enjoy the ride, or you can like read along and it's mm. still genius. It, it's genius. Yeah. 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 Nobody else is doing harmony like this yeah. around yeah. today. That's that's reached this level of, of uh, acclaim yeah. and, and popularity. Yeah, not on the radio. Not on that's the radio. For sure. Yeah. Check out check out the the drum sound on these verses because I think if you're going to make it right the verse we just said the verse is sparse. It's mm. a rhythm section. Mm. That's yeah. it. So if you're going to have the rhythm section be the whole song, like it better be well recorded and well mixed and designed. And so his, his drums always are on point. Yeah, yeah. he's got a real always. identity on he as, does. A, as a drummer. It's Ugh. very cool. You know what it sounds like yeah. to me? It sound, I might be wrong about this. The, it's, you can, I hear it in the first hits, it sounds like ribbon mics on the drums. Yeah. Maybe I'm wrong about it, but listen to these. Listen to these. Oh, yeah. Right. Yeah, I think you're right. Don't yeah. those sound like it's ribbons? The, it's the warm, yeah. Mm-hmm. It's dry, mm-hmm. no verb, and you can hear the whole kit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, very cool drum sound. The tones are just, uh, you know, are classic. Classic just tones. Right. Yeah. Yes. Ugh. And this song has this song is full of hooks. Just everywhere, there's a hook. What are the hooks? Okay. Ba 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 ba, and then uh, da 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 da, and then of course like the skate. And now wait a minute, hang on a second. I'm just gonna point out. You know what I'm gonna say. You're singing all the instrumentation and none of the melodic parts. Very Except true. for skate. Except for skate, which is Except, basically yeah. a horn part. Yeah, yeah. It's a, it's yeah. A, which is a horn part. Yeah. yeah. The the hook in the shit that stands out to me is the instrumental players. It's yeah. the rhythm section and oh, the man. arrangers mm-hmm. writing these melodies. Not that Bruno isn't a great melodist and songwriter. Yeah. But I actually don't remember. If you ask me, like, sing the verse of the melody. I can't sing it. I can't either. <laughs> no, yeah. no, yeah. I mean, no, no. That's a, I just, I just hear. That's it. That's what I remember. Yeah. Yeah. It's a great point that the strongest parts of this song are not the melody. Not the melody. Like that's a good chorus melody, but nobody's gonna be walking around the house singing that in 30 years. No. You know what I mean? It just it does what it's supposed to do. It lifts the song, but the real, the special thing about this song is not really the melody. And I just think that like Bruno Anderson loved music so much that this sounds like there was a birth out of a jam. And then yeah. it's like, okay, let's put yeah. this over this later. Yeah. You know? It sounds like they made the track. Yeah. First. Yes, and I then, agree. And then yeah. it sounds like they had this the skate, and then it sounds like, oh, let's let's just use that word skate. What if the song is about skate? I can even do, see them saying like yeah. skate. Yeah, I can exactly. hear a little hit there. Yeah, skate. And then, right, guys, I got a little info for you from from the from here. So the track came about as a part of a thought exercise in the studio, as Mars and his team were imagining if they were performing a song in the middle of a roller rink, and what the bass, the guitar, and the drums would sound like. Mars added, "I wanted to play congas, and that's what you get." <laughs> That's what it sounds like to me. It's it didn't it doesn't sound like it stemmed from a melodic right, idea. Right. It's, like it's from a, a concept. It it's it stemmed from a kick-ass rhythm section and amazing harmonists coming together mm-hmm. and doing what they do best. Right. This is some of the best stuff that I've heard Bruno do. Mm-hmm. And it's just these two guys that yeah. that are just having fun together in a room and Aww. that that really comes through. It you're absolutely right. More yeah, than anything what fun. shines through is the love and and joy mm-hmm. and fun of this whole thing. You yeah. know, we we just we're just trying to jam and have fun and 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 uh be a part of something that we're proud of and hopefully people can just feel that and love it as much as we do. We got some factoids. This is a lightning round. In their previous release, Leave the Door Open, how many takes did Anderson Pack do to record the song? Because you're asking the question, I'm gonna say one. It, you're damn right it's one. Pack explained you get so many collaborations where a lot of it's done through email, you never meet the person, it's yep. text, it's like a play, and people don't understand that when you get in, you can jam with someone rather than uh, another artist that can hold it down. That's different. And you're really creating a groove from scratch. Yep. Lightning round number two. Uh, what musical legend came up with the Silk Sonic name? 
He famous? tweeted about pockets once. Oh, Bootsy. Yeah, Bootsy, Bootsy! Collins. Bootsy! <laughs> Bootsy Collins. Pack explained we have a bunch, we had a bunch of different names. Robocop Funk. <laughs> Oh, no! <laughs> the Conquistadors. No! The, the Atlantic Stars, the Lava Lamps. Oh my god! Wow. Um, but they immediately took to Silk Sonic as soon as Collins offered up the idea. It's a great name. It's a great name. It's That's such a great, great name. name. We're gonna close out here with a recommendation. Something something for your studio mm -hmm. that folks can get at home. Okay. Uh, there is a pedal uh, that a friend of mine makes called a Yuna. E-U-N-A. It's made by 29 pedals. It has these just three switches on it, aside from the on and off, which just add, there's like a low boost, there's a harmonic boost, and there's a high boost. And it's subtle, but they all sound so good. And, uh, and I just t end up leaving it on almost all of the time. For me, um, like my favorite piece of gear that I've bought is uh, Apogee makes this thing, makes this uh, USB microphone called the Hype Mic. And it's the first USB microphone that has a condenser inside it. Sorry, uh, compression, compression. I'm sorry. With the first USB microphone with a compressor on it. And I've been using this stuff for TV. I've been using it for, and I've actually like ate and beat it against like, you know, my $3,000 microphone. I actually like this one better. It sounds amazing. Nice. And it comes Go with, Apogee. It comes, yeah, it comes with the pop screen too. So Woo. set up on your desk, plug it in, play, and you're good. And you can plug, you can put your headphone right into the microphone and listen to it. It's great. Wow. That's awesome. The pedal that I'm going to recommend is the MXR Phase 90. Ah, interesting. Oh. It's a phaser. Interesting. But when you put it on a Rhodes, yeah. it sounds like all those old phasers on Rhodes from Billy Joel recordings. It's a little orange thing. It's like this big. Yeah. Okay, the, the, okay, there's so ones, there's, the, there's like the holy grail ones of those that are like the script logo and you have to find the one from this year to this year. That's a classic. It's a classic sound. Cool. Thank you for watching Professional Musicians React. Thanks for the suggestions. If you have other ideas for songs that we should listen to and react to, please leave us a note in the comments below. And we will see you next week. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Adios. Arrivederci. Arrivederci.